Okay guys, we're heading out. We got us about five jugs in here. We're about to go kidnap some dang turtles. So the last time we was at this pond, we ended up catching them on like a stinking Cinco. And if we can catch them on a Cinco, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we can catch them on a hot dog. Now my last turtle video, a lot of people said well, he's holding it wrong by the tail. You know, I'll try to hold them a little bit righter today, but I mean, I ain't gonna risk getting bit just cause, you know, I wanna not hurt the turtle that we're gonna end up killing by the end of the day anyhow. I mean, I'm gonna kill it and like eat it and like eat it and like, eat it but right there's the pond we're jugging oh dang there goes a beaver there goes a beaver right there it's getting away from us but if you can see that right there there's just beaver okay here we go we got noodles we don't have jugs so here we got two types of bait right here we got a like one and a half pieces of fat back left over and then i got these hot dogs right here these are actually cheese dogs and they've been pretty well burnt so we're going to use them real quick and then there we go there's not many catfish in here not as many bluegills you'd think so these hot dogs should be okay on a jug and there's like, it's like eat up with turtles, so here we go. Now we gotta do five more, just like that. Oh boy. This thing come off. Watch out for some beavers, buddy. Okay, well we've got them all set. We basically just got them set out here right close, but we're just gonna let the wind take care of it. And hopefully the turtles will smell it from over there and come over here to eat it. Yeah, now we're going to leave. We're going to come back in like an hour or something. Okay, guys, so on that yellow one out there, we just saw a turtle poke its head up like three feet right beside of it. So it's just a matter of time before that goes under. So what it'll do is it'll like pull down and pull a whole lot, and then it'll set the hook in itself. And then basically what a turtle's going to do is it's going to go to the closest bank, bury itself in the mud as deep as it can, which is only about three feet when it has a jug in its mouth. And well, yeah, there it is. It'll sit about two feet off the bank, and we come by with my treble hook, snag it, and pull it up, and hopefully try to stick it in a sack but yeah we're gonna head out and go to walmart and then we'll be back in like an hour and a half okay guys we're back at the pond to check them we got one two three and then four those four are all up to the bank as in like where they'd be pushed up from wind or something and then we've got two over there that's actually out in the middle where i'd think a turtle's on so if what i'm thinking is right i think we have about two turtles giant treble hook here i'm gonna try to snag the jugs and bring them in i'm almost about positive we got one on one of these two if not both of them oh lord yeah we got one here think so yeah i do well, I was wrong about that one, wasn't I? Oh, no way. I think I just got it. I just caught a turtle. Dude, I just got a turtle. Hurry, hurry, get the sack, get the sack. I just caught a turtle. Oh my goodness. I just caught a turtle, guys. On a stinking Walmart Challenge Turtle Edition. Hurry, I got him, I got him. Oh my goodness. I just caught a turtle on my little four pound line. This may not end well, but we'll have to see what happens right here. This is pretty crazy, guys. I'm actually doing the Walmart Challenge today. I've caught one bass and one turtle on a stinking Cinco. I don't know how to do this. If I can get him up just a little bit more. It bit that Cinco in half. Yeah, it did. Got him. I got him, son. All right, get the bucket, get the bucket. Now, guys, I'm sorry that I'm having to grab him like this, but this is like the only way I can right now. We're going to have to get him in the sack, son. Now, see, guys, I'm trying to hope. Oh, his claws are ah, so sharp. Now, guys, I've got support on his belly, so don't be hating on me, okay? Don't be hating on me because I'm supporting his belly real quick. God Almighty is snapping. Okay, guys, here's what we're going to do. Guys, I'm sorry that I had to support him, I guess what you'd say, an unsupportive way for his body, but boom, boys, we got him a turtle. And then I'm just going to wrap it up like this right here. Just like that. Dude, we ain't got nothing to tie it with. And then there's that. It's a turtle man. Yee, yee. We got a turtle in the bag with this stinking claws poking through the bag. This may come loose in the Grand Dam. We don't know, but we're going to try to get two for y'all. He's liable to come through that bag any moment. Okay, guys. Well, this is like the craziest thing I've ever saw. We've been to this pond twice. We've caught three turtles on three Cinco's. Yet we have five hot dogs and fat back jugs out here that we've not even got a bite on. Like, this doesn't even make sense. We can catch them on Cinco's, but not hot dogs and fat back. Now, I'm not sure about this, but what I'm actually thinking is I think these turtles are like keyed in on bait fish because the Cinco's moving it imitates a little dying bait fish so what we actually may do is we may come back here in a week or two with minners live minnows because it seems like these turtles are keyed into live bait but i guess i'm gonna tie on a little spinner bait now see if i don't know maybe i can catch a turtle on a spinner bait that'll be something on it okay guys well, we got a turtle well we think it's a turtle we had a jug move like completely across the pond and then it's moved over to the bank and sunk in so i'm gonna try to snag it right here Oh, well, that's not where anywhere near it, but it was straight. Well, we gave up on trying to snag it, so we've made our way all over here. We've 100% got a turtle because we you know we saw him flopping right here a second ago. Oh, yeah, he's a mean one, too. Oh, he's stinking gripping me so hard with his back feet. But I'm supporting his belly. I don't necessarily think it'll hurt his spine because he's not as big. I'm going to try to stick him right here in this bag and, uh... Oh, you got it. 
There you go. We got another turtle. There's two turtles one day, one on a Cinco, one on a, I don't know, hot, hot dog. dog, I guess. Okay, guys, we got both turtles here. We're back at Mothership, the Grand Am. We're just gonna stick both of these right here in the back of the trunk. We'll probably check back in here and that box will be shredded up from a bunch of turtles. Probably crawling around in there. Well, let's see you later, Buzz. Well, they're still in here and I'm pretty sure they're still in the bags. Yep, this one is for sure. Here you go, Adam. We're about to take these and put them in a barrel until it's time to eat them. Oh yeah, his claws has already came through the bag. He ain't too happy about that. We got two turtles. What do you want us to do with them? So put them in the barrel and pour water in it? Yep. Well, you guys heard that. We're going to fill up a barrel with a little bit more water than these turtles can sit in. Then we're just going to lay them in there until it's time to cook them and eat them. Adam's complaining because my airsoft gun does not shoot far enough. Yeah, I'll let you shoot me with this. It's a Walmart. You want me to shoot you with it? Yeah. All right, go out there and stand. <laughs> I will. No. Why? It don't hurt. Oh. Okay, well this in here is definitely the biggest and the man. So we're going to get him out of this bag and then transport him out there in that bucket real quick. Now that I've got his tail, I'm going to support his belly like this and move him right over here. Want me to get that hook out of its mouth? Oh, nope. <laughs> the hook's staying in it. We're going to eat it anyways. There's a the turtle. He's not a giant. I'm not getting the hook out of him because that's one of the number one rules. You don't get near a snapping turtle's mouth. And it's really hard mouth. It's not going to hurt him anyhow. Oh my god. Oh. He got it there, didn't he? Now we're going to support the underbelly with my off hand. Bring it over. And oh man, set him right in there with that other turtle. And there they are. Sure, sure. Oh, oh, they're okay. not exactly happy with that, each other, but hey, they're honestly. Oh. oh! Oh! Dang! Oh! Wow! Oh! Mmm! Hey! That's their fault. They can work it out. You are going to be in here together for a while. Yeah, they don't like the water, but they're going to have to go through it to get clean. After a few days in the water, they'll be clean, clean as a whistle. They'll be good to eat. Okay, well, that's that for the turtles. They'll be okay in there. They got plenty of water. They can lift up. They can breathe. We're actually going to be feeding them bread also until it's time to kill them and eat them. And if you don't understand why we're trapping turtles, it's because they, you know, they taste really good. They're really good food and, and they're a nuisance to the pond. If you leave turtles in there, they're going to eat all the fish. And if there's ever any turtles or geese that try to get in that pond, snapping turtles will take their feet right off. So it's either take snapping turtles and eat them or have a bunch of feetless ducks and geese walking around with, well, no feet, so they can't walk anyway. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and feed them because, you know, why not? There you go, buddy. Eat up. Just a few pieces of bread right there. They probably ain't going to eat right now just because they're not used to the bucket, but hey, whenever they get used to it, they'll eat that right up. Okay, guys. Well, I'm just here trying to fish. We're actually at the lake right now, and I met a little gray gangster right here. He actually gave me entry for free, but don't tell anybody. What do you got to tell the gray gang out there? What do you, what do you got them to say? Follow me on Instagram. Yeah, there you go. Brayden Watkins. I'm going to get out there and try to get us a fish. This lake's got a whole lot of grass, so I'm actually going with this shad colored swim jig. It's got shad, it's got bluegill, but today I just figured I'd go with the white one. Now, this is a Lanier jig, probably one of the best jigs that, well, you know, they ever make. So go ahead, check out Lanier jigs. And that's what I'm going to be using today. There he is. He's not a giant, but hey, he's a fish. And it's pretty hot, so any fish is good on a hot day, that's for sure. He ain't a bad one, neither. Nah. He's not a good one, but he ain't a bad one. I actually had to switch from a wacky worm to get this bite. But yeah, I actually caught him on a wacky worm. I don't know why, but I think maybe the jig was just a little bit too big of a presentation for these hot summer fish. So, yeah, there's number one. Hopefully we can make another one, number two. And he did spit my worm, but that's part of wacky worming. There's another one. Guys, this one shouldn't count, though. I'm not even... That's about it. That wasn't even longer than my worm. I'm not counting that. There he is. There we go on the big swim jig. I pulled out the swim jig trying to get a little bit bigger fish. Seems like that's exactly what I've done. Big swim jig fish right here, son. He came right out of all those stick ups right there. So, you know, well, swam it right through there. He took it, bang, set this big old hook in him and he wasn't getting off. Oh, now he's in the bottom of the boat. But anyway, he's not a giant right there, but hey, he's a nice little bass on that linear swim jig. There he is. He bit it right at the boat. Watched him eat it, just set in on him, and boom. Now we got a fish in my hand. He's not a big one, but he still ate that swim jig pretty good. Well, yeah, there he goes. Let's try to get us another one. Hopefully bigger, because, you know, if we keep catching those, this video is not going to be too interesting. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button in the middle. If you already subscribed, feel free to watch more videos on the left. And as always, Favorite Squad, post it up on the right.
If you want some of the sweet merch, head on over to kennelgrade1.com or the link in the description. Don't forget to smash the like button. And besides that, hey, I'll see you later.